How's it going? Good. Sweet. We're here. We're here. We're here. <coughs> Thanks for coughing on me. No problem. Adam, we're here. Adam. Wake up. Adam. We're here. Adam. We're here. Wake up. Wake up. Adam, Adam wake up. Adam, wake up. We're here. We're here. Did you write Exo Shiano X on the door, Devin? No, I did not. You probably did. I would never do that. You he know spelt I it wrong. I didn't right. do it. This Whatever. This is the house they were staying at. This is the house we're staying at. Planet Z Studios, Planet Z House. Um, this is the, the computer. I don't know if it turns on or not. Eh, yeah, it's a robot. We got a, my bass and the guitar and some drums that aren't What do you need? Let's, let's pull that out. Pop them out. Don't mind those bottles. The recording bass? Uh, yeah, this is the bass that I'll be using on the record. It's a Schecter Studio 5 stiletto. It is, uh, it's pretty nice. It's really fucking dirty, and like, the finish is wearing off because I've been using it for over a year now, live. And it still sounds great. Schecter makes great basses. Alright. This is the living area slash kitchen. We got a TV and a boombox. We got a Xbox. We got Danny's Xbox. Oh. Good, great. Show sure everybody still don't know what to rip us off of next time we come through their town. Moving on. Um, it's Nikki Six's guitar, I guess. I don't really care. Um, I care. Who's Devin? Oh. He's our guitar tech. <laughs> Is that just kidding, just kidding. Let me sh let me show you what we. Oh, you're you're fucking up, man. Uh, what well, Devin? Uh, well, let's, we're already over here. What um, what do you got there? I know um, we're not uh, a, uh, essentially endorsed by these guys, but you know, uh, go on, go on. It's a, uh, a semi semi custom Ibanez RG seventy six twenty. Used to be owned by Justin Longshore of Who Eyes of the Dead. It was used on uh, their album Malice. Um, this is my main guitar, what I'll be recording with. Um, right, right. Okay. This is your pedal, your pedal, your. What is this? Your suitcase? Yeah, this, this is my suitcase. Oh, Did you run away from home? Yeah. Or? Okay. That's cool. Alright, okay. moving along right, right here. Actually, hold on. What, what's this one over here? This little. That's a uh, super Ibanez X twenty three thousand. Triple X three thousand. I'm using it for uh, for some of the songs. Uh, the leads. Like, Danny records the leads on the album this time around. I do everything. Um, <laughs> I do everything for this for this band. Play guitar and bass for the record. This is our lion. I don't know, we named it. I don't remember what the name is, but JT. Adam got it at <laughs> Adam got it at a rest stop for $25 and we've been The price is important. Exact $25. Exactly. But we did some grocery shopping. Let us show you what we got. Let's see how fat asses we are. Alright. This is is it, this is yours, right? Whose oh, shit is this? Fine. This is yours? This is all you? Oh wow. Fuck. All those I carbs. This is all. Jesus Christ. I guess Devin gets, gets two, two, uh, two uh, <laughs> carbs and tuna. That's three shelves. This is. I don't right. the Look at it. This it's all fine. bread, bread, noodles, noodles. Fucking what is that? Oatmeal. This no. This is no. my great nuts. Oh, I don't know. Shell. No, it's shells and cheese. This More noodles. Oh noodles. My God. Noodles. Oh my God, Devin. Look at him. Oh. My. It's cheap and it's filling. We're a health conscious band now. I got. I got my sliced peaches. Kinda. I got my Folgers for the morning. I got my uh... Your raw mustard. Yep. My own mustard. I got my uh, brown rice. Nice. I got my wheat thins. I got my uh, sugar free Red Bull. And 
got my uh, wheat bread, my grape nuts, uh, my Orbit gum. Uh, got my uh, got, uh, bubble mint. Uh, that's the sweat out of And if this was fat Danny's store, it would be full of double cheeseburgers. Yeah. <laughs> Jason, why don't you sell my two packs? <laughs> I'm done. I got, uh, this is me. <laughs> What is this bullshit? Why do you have tomato paste? You Italian it's pasta bastard? Sauce. No, fuck yeah, that's all you have. It's I pasta got and bags. tomatoes. Fuck you. I got bags of noodles right here. And then I got bread and I got some more noodles. And then I got the cans of the jars. That's fucking sad. Why do you have all that ravioli? Because I am living on a budget. It's the most pitiful fucking. Hey, no, but I got, a, I got a case of ramen. More noodles. And. I got a jug of water. Oh yeah, we have to show you what we got in the fridge too. And I got a pack of white Mason American too. cheese. Cause we've seen them. We know you. And uh, I think I got some. No, I don't got nothing else. Me and Jason have the same. I'm them. broke. Okay. Oh, the next time here. Hey, show us what uh, show us what options you have on your menu for the time we here's stay. The, here's the, the, this is the local kid got. that we met. We picked him up on uh, Holyoke. Holyoke. That's where I'm from. Look at Jason and Nick matching. We sorry, we're here. come on, we're just not. What's on the menu now? Let's see what you got. What's what are you eating we have while to show we're in the, the studio? Fridge. We go get to it. But I didn't show what I have in the fridge. Just more. We'll do we just what we all have in the fridge. All my so, stuff's in the fridge. Okay, let's show us. Just we'll just get a good glimpse. You don't have to pull it out or nothing. Come on. Turkey breast, deli fresh. I have that too. Mondo and mug. Milk. Okay, and back there. Back there. Gotta have your pops. I got them. Oreos, Pop Tart, Wonder Bread. That's it. That's all I need. Wow. Wonder Bread. All right, Wonder Bomb. Wonder Bomb. Should we show the rooms? All right. Let me. Now, uh. <clears throat> now you'll see. This, um, is, this is Adam's Echo drawer. This, this is this I, what I call Echo this, Meat. This is um, a monthly training plan that, that I have right here. It goes in line in hand with my uh, workouts. So you start over there on that end and you kill about three bottles the first week and that's just the three reps and then you move on the next week to these three. Keep but in mind, Black Velvet starts the second week off Ooh. right there. And let's cut to the you're, chase. You're straight edge, we get it. No, I know, but let's cut to the chase. Let's show out where Adam hides his water No, now. okay. No. <laughs> oh. Here, here's my. It's okay because here's my it. selection for now. We gotta, we have to, okay. we have to revamp some things. Here's some foods that um, I guess Devin, that uh, what was it? What band was here? It's cool. Was it s'mores? Baptized in blood. Baptized in blood. blood left some things here, so I just took it upon myself to just. Yo, let me get the there. s'more goldfish. No, fuck you. So you the George Foreman grill. Here's some 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 little snacks they left, so I just put them in here. Yeah, this is like the George Foreman grill that's left here. Baptized in blood to not clean up after themselves. We're gonna clean that. We have some 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 fruits, pineapples, lots of beans, some beans, tuna. Uh, baptized in blood left that. More vegetables, some raisin bran cereal. It helps helps keep your uh, keep your get your daily fiber, keep that shit coming out nice and solid. And uh, this that's yours. Here. Here we go. Congratulations. Hell yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna grilled cheeses. Yeah, this they, they left me this week. So this is essentially me and we have some we got a lot in the freezer too. There's lots of meats and oh really? All kind of some meats. Some frozen meats and some turkey burgers and some chicken and some tilapia fish. And See I got beans too though, because I got chicken. I have chimichangas. Jerson has chimichangas and parliaments in his selection for the frozen foods area. And so. frozen ice. Alright, so I guess we're switching off here. So let's go into, uh, this is, uh, mine and Nick's room. Right here. This is Nick's bed. Which is obnoxiously gay <laughs> cover, but it's cool. I'm pretty sure I slept with it once or twice. This is my bed. That's all there is about that. Um, take note of this, kiddos. Kiddos! Lots of the past two albums were recorded on that thing. Good old 8-track uh, recorder from 1996 or some shit like that. That's what keeps your album from leaking before you record it. Okay, now 
We'll pass it over to Danny and uh, I can tell you about this already shot room. Um, all right. Here's, uh, here's Jason's bed. Here's Jason's uh, laptop. Oh, yeah. Stickers. Slipknot. Yep. That, that's cool. Here's his bags. Here's my uh, little corner right here. Here's my bed. Just getting situated a little. It's my laptop. It's my toiletries. And that's it. I'm not good at this. Alright, now. Sorry. Now. Here's a uh, pass it over to Black. Now, if you come right here, if you look in the bathroom, Ryan Knight pooped here. Who? Ryan Knight. Brian McKnight? No, Ryan Knight. No, Brian McKnight. This is a. Uh... This is Devin's room. Yeah. No, he didn't get a room. He just got the utility closet. It's cause you gotta pay your dues. Um, it has a guitar light in here. I don't know if it works or not. Now what? Have to check that out. The door doesn't close. What's your name and what do you do? My name is Danny and I play drums. For Oceano. I know my questions suck, I'm sorry. Like, How was the recording process with Zeus? It was awesome. Uh, he really pushed us and really uh, helped us out and improve our parts. I mean, he really, uh, his advice really helped a lot and a bunch of stuff and, and really helped with my drumming and everything. It, was, it went really well. Awesome. Mm -hmm. How was uh, how were the living conditions here? Yeah, they were good. Uh, you know, there were, uh, we had a little fruit fly problem, but I mean, nothing terrible. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's about it. Uh, Devin made shrimp, which kind of made the house smell, and I mean, it happened, and uh, that's about it. And I mean, it would get hot sometimes, but that's about it. How was uh? How was it working with two new guitar players on the album? It was awesome. I love these guys. They, I love these guys to death. Nick and Devin. They are great guys. I, uh, I really love them. Jason and Adam were obviously in. Oh, uh, yep. Hey, what's up, dude? What's up? Hey, take care. <laughs> um, Jason, Jason and Adam were obviously in the band before, and you know they. They were uh, came. Up, they were in the band, obviously, in the last record. I don't know why I said that, <laughs> but uh, you know, I love them too, and I also love Devin and Nick. They're they're great guys, and probably the two best dudes to be in the band with. I mean, I like Jason and Adam <laughs> too, but I don't like picking favorites. But you know, they're great guys too, and I love them all. They're they're all good friends in a bunch, and. Uh, Give me another question. I can't talk anymore. Keep Give me another question. question. Give me another talking. question. How was, uh... <coughs> how did you feel about your performance on the record? Uh, it was good. I was really... I thought I my drumming improved uh, since the last time I recorded, which is awesome. And uh, I thought um, I had some cool stuff here and there. And... Uh, I, th I thought the recordings turned out great, and I really tried to hit hard and make the the drumming sound powerful for this record. And uh, yeah, and I'm very stoked on it. I'm what very... kind of drumsticks did you use on the record? I used Popeyes the... or Churches? Um, no, not Chicken Adam. It's uh, <laughs> it's not Chicken. They're drumsticks. Like when I used the uh, Vic Firth Five Bs, you don't eat them or anything. <laughs> yeah, if you're Devin. How was uh? If you're Devin, you might. How was the, uh, how was the weight loss process? Um, that's not, that's not appropriate. Yeah, that's a, that's a, it's a big question. Um, that's, uh, yeah, man. Dude, with the weight loss, it went good. I don't know. 
being at home working out was good. Looks, so we heard you're pregnant. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we have more band questions. This <laughs> shit. <laughs> This is real, real cozy. What you yeah. been doing? Yeah, you guys living back there. I'm feeling great. Maybe I'm crammed. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Has anybody well, played this side? We're all sharing the same. Hey, you're fucking <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's what's up. 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 We're all going to the mall. Bigger than that yeah. To the Hadley Mall. With I roasted a bear once in Oceano. <laughs> Why are we in this town? I don't know. Seemed like a good idea. Yeah, it seemed like a good idea. <laughs> turned out really bad. There's four men four men on a bed together. Bad idea. Like I said, it turned out great. Why are bring us together? What? Get a shot of me driving. I am. Woo! <laughs> 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 Keep your eyes on keep your eyes on the road. Come on. You know, Mary, I know you're more it's only two, to die on the way to the airport. Only two people from our band are here right now. We're surrounded by you guys. Yeah, because you guys are pussies. <laughs> yo, where yo, where where are we at? We're at Buffalo Wild Wings in uh Hadley, Massachusetts. And uh, you know, Oceana was chilling with the best friend. All right. Uh, who are you? What's up, Nick from Molotov Solution? <laughs> who the fuck are you, man? <laughs> I'm Robbie from Molotov Solution. Nice. And what? What did you just do? Just did guest vocals on the new Oceano record. Called. Yo. Damn, it's loud. No, I'm who, loud. Who are you? I have a loud voice. Who are you? Where are you from? Dick Narther. <laughs> Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay. All right. Hey, where did you start singing? Uh, yeah, right there. What is your name and what do you do? Um, Adam from Oceano, and I do vocals, obviously. How was your time here at Planet Z? Uh, it was a good experience. We got a lot of a lot of input from Zeus, unlike uh, most of our other recording experiences, whether it was the last album or recording demo songs or whatever, so we got a lot of input outside of our own, which I think helped make this album essentially the best we could make it, especially coming into it with, you know, new members and things and kind of speedily writing the album and what we had left to write of it, so I think basically we came into it, you know, iffy on certain songs and oh, lots of those songs turned out to be some of our favorites, so turned some, uh, we turned, uh, shit into uh, chicken salad, as they say. Or chicken shit into chicken salad. <laughs> <laughs> but did you enjoy your time working with Zeus? Uh, yes. He's an awesome producer, the best producer so far, or producer and engineer we've encountered so far, so definitely brought the best in us. Are you stoked on the new album? No, I'm actually not. Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm stoked on it. The people are going to be thoroughly impressed, I think. And they're definitely in for an ass whooping on this one. Uh, there's a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of buzz. Uh, it's going to be really hard to top Depths. Depths is an awesome album. Thank you. But uh, we definitely did it on this one. I wouldn't. Fuck you. We wouldn't. Uh, 
we definitely wouldn't be this stoked on it if we didn't feel that it top depths and it, it definitely will and that's coming not from just being a member standpoint that's from coming into not hearing any of the songs and hearing them all for the first time and being like fuck i want to punch one of my bandmates to this so can you give us a brief overview on the lyrical content of the contagion <laughs> yes i can uh <laughs> clark gable <laughs> uh essentially the contagion is uh, a disease that um, was intentionally spread by, quote unquote, the government. Um, it's, it's metaphorically speaking, but it's spoken in the way of a literal sense, but it's meant to be more than that. And I'm not going to really say any more than that, because I guess you kind of have to listen and read the lyrics and shit and take your own fucking thought and interpret it your own way, but that's a rough idea of what it's about. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Have a great night. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we're, practicing, uh, we're practicing my highs and yeah. lows. Ready? Lows? Lows. No! I play bass. So, uh, did you have a good time recording at uh, Planet Z? Yeah, it was fun. I mean, fucking Zeus pushed everybody to be the best they could be on this. And, you know, everybody did a good job. I did a good job. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you, uh, are you stoked on the new album and new lineup of the band? Yes, I am. Um, Nick and Devin came in. Like, Nick came in right when uh, the whole member change thing happened. And, like, Nick and Danny were already jamming. And then I came down and everybody started jamming. And then a little while longer ago, Devin came in. And then he's been fucking a big help. He's been writing some nasty shit. Fucking. So it's definitely a good mix to the band? Yeah, it's a great mix. Everybody gets along. Everybody's friends. Well, except for Danny. But, um, yeah, it was great. <clears throat> the tracking was good. I had to record the whole site, like, CD in one day, which is alright. Jack from the Acacia Stream was cool and let me borrow his bass, because mine, like, something was wrong with it. You said that not there. <laughs> but, yeah, pretty much. It was sweet. So, Definitely stoked for the album to come out, and yeah, you stoked for it, or? Yeah, I am. <laughs> it's awesome. You're not wearing shoes. I don't wear shoes ever, barely. Everybody, that's Jason's house over there. <laughs> you gotta survive. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, 
So uh, Zeus was like a big help when yeah. it came to you thinking fucking, of ideas and stuff. Zeus had great ideas and fucking, you know, mostly awesome ideas. There weren't really any bad ideas, just some ideas that we didn't really go for, but for the most part, like 99%, Zeus was awesome. Well, he's 100% awesome. I mean, he gave us all nicknames, called Nick Screech, called Devin, uh, Dirty Whore. Whore called Danny Goon, called me Sleeping Beauty, because I sleep a lot. He called Adam Bobcat, because, you know the Bobcat. Because he fucking cooked all that shrimp and fish that one day and made the house smell like shit. Oh. So did you meet any cool people in Hadley while you were here? Uh, yeah, we met Amber at the gas station. <laughs> That's my bride. <laughs> this is not bride. really good. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, yeah, I know Amber. Yeah. We met Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> not the not the guitar player <laughs> one, but the bass player yeah. one. The bass yeah, player one. He's cool. My, why are my questions like? I have three questions like. <laughs> this is not a fucking interview. Are you kidding? Why? This is part of it. You're ruining it. You, you're you're ruining it. Like, why do we have to talk about the album the whole time? My part was thirty seconds long. It's true. Yeah, yeah. You're giving him like forty Sir? questions. All right, well, sir, you did a great job on the album, and uh, you did uh, did awesome job, and uh, very stoked for the album. Me too. We've got Adam cooking here. Looks like he's got some kind of fried chicken there. And a sandwich. Well, it's, not fried, it's not fried chicken. It's a uh, turkey. Uh, tur turkey. No, ah, cool. Like, so I made a, made a nice little uh, meal here. Uh, we got uh, salad from Whole Foods with some, uh, some A1 steak sauce, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and some uh, red pepper. Uh, Red pepper and all that good stuff, and then I'm just making a uh, I can't play with little at least turkey uh, turkey steak sandwich or some shit over here. So we got all these right, right there. Sounds good. fantastic. Good cooking on tour yeah. in the studio. See the purchase sale. With Adam Warren. So, uh, Speaking about survival, and you're you You guys market. on tour? If you want me to, I take it seriously. We'll be some fucked up concoctions or, or uh, <laughs> George Foreman. We got yeah. fucking. Negro and a knife, but we're good, so. It's good. What is your name and what do you do? Balls. You can start over, see? <laughs> you don't have to stop. You you go into outtakes. You can go into outtakes. Exactly. What is your name and what do you do? I'm Devin. I'm by Play Guitar. Awesome. Uh, how was the recording process at Planet Z for you? Uh, it went great. This is my first time, like, actually recording a full album and having a lot, like, a decent amount of time to do it. And he just he pushed everybody to make sure everything was perfect. Anything sucked at all. He just you know he didn't let it slide, and that was cool. That's awesome. Did uh, Zeus come up with good ideas and stuff? And was he really helpful with like just the production on the album? Yeah, he had ideas and he was helpful. <laughs> Nick's just going off right now, and uh, he ignored it. So whoever that was, you know, sorry. It's my mom. Sorry, Mama C. I love you. Okay. Um, but uh, you definitely had a good time recording the album. Yeah, I, uh, you know, there was lots of fun had by all. We played Nazi Zombies a lot. Yeah. It would get hot in the house, and we'd wonder why. And it was because Jason would turn off the goddamn AC. I got anemia. He's got anemia. They're throwing rocks at me right now. <laughs> but um, what's that behind you? What is that behind you? Adam. That's a bobcat. It's a bobcat. Oh, but uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but uh, are you stoked on the band and excited for the future of the band? Yeah, I, you know, I think we're you know going to bigger and better places than we're at right now. I think this album's going to do really well for compared to the depths. That's awesome. But um, yeah, um, thank you for the interview. Um, We'll uh, definitely 
We'll definitely see you, see you around, and uh, Fat idiot. catch you at uh, the local Big Mac store. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, uh, it was good talking to you. Yeah. This is a grass What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get it tonight. What has happened? What the fuck's this shit? That's what happened. What? What? Don't put it on me, I swear to God. You're gonna get it too now. Hey, I'll just get you off. Make sure you didn't get scared. Stop us. Come on. What's your name and what do you do? I'm Nick and I play guitar for Oceano. I'm Faggot and I play Dick. Yep, that's what I play. <laughs> How was the. Uh... How was it coming into a band and having to write a substantial amount of material from scratch? Um, it was a little harder than people think. Can I start over, please? Nope. <laughs> Stop, seriously, I didn't chuck rocks at you, I filmed you, they did. dickhead. <laughs> Anyways, it was, it was like, it was tough at first, it was scary, because it was originally, like, we were supposed to go to the studio, like, after, like, when I joined, there was like a month break, in between me joining and month break in between me joining and the studio at first and then I got pushed back but uh, it was a lot of fun it was easy working with Danny and Adam and Jason and when Devin came in he really contributed and it's been an awesome process and I love all the guys and it was a great great time recording the album and uh, it was fun how was it uh how was it coming into a band and having your first like tour experience be a full country tour? Uh, it was definitely it was it was surreal because I I've been in local bands back home and I've always wanted to go on tour and being able to go on tour with Bleeding Through and Born of Osiris and Sleeping Giant Legend was honestly an honor because it was just like a great first tour and it was a great experience and. It was just an amazing time, so. Is that silver? <laughs> it's silver? How was, uh, how was the recording process with Zeus? It was really good. He's uh, definitely, definitely a help when it comes to ideas and catchiness and stuff. So, I mean, Zeus was a huge, huge part of, of the album. And he was definitely a good addition to the team to recording Contagion. Awesome. How do you feel about the album? I am very, very, very stoked for it. I'm, I can't wait for people to hear it. We all worked hard, and it was definitely, uh, definitely, uh, it's the word I'm thinking of, a uh, long process, but it was well worth the hard work and all the time spent on it, so it was definitely, it's definitely awesome and I'm so forward to come out. Cool, uh, what's your favorite thing to drink? Animal crackers. Animal crackers. <laughs> <laughs>
good. Oh, yeah. Casey? 